Hey guys, hope you're all doing good. So this week I'll be doing a CTF walkthrough on a Wellhelm machine called Mercury. And it can be downloaded from the Wellhelm website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Alright, so I'll go ahead, download it and import it onto my virtual box and see you in a bit. Alright, so let's begin. Let me make this bigger so you guys can see properly. Uh, I'm gonna take a note of what devices are there on my network before I start up the Mercury machine. Net discover on the range of 10.10 .10 network. Alright, so now that I know which machines are on my network, I'm gonna fire up the Mercury machine and check back here for changes. Alright, so we can see that this new guy popped up over here. So now we have an IP address. The next thing we can do is scan it with a map. Let me clear this up a bit. Okay. Now, usually when you do an map scan, by default, it scans the top thousand known ports. But if you are in a CDF or a pen test, you might want to scan all the 65,535 ports so you don't miss anything. And to do that, you just have to type in dash p dash. But since I already know what ports are open on this, so I'm going to speed this up and scan the top thousand known ports. There you go. So it looks like we have SSH and HTTP service running, but we don't have any credentials for SSH. Now, what we can do is see what's running on this web server. Looks like this page is still under construction. So what we can do here is right click view page source and see if there's anything interesting. Oh, huh, nothing. Okay, so what we're looking for over here is if in case some developer left some credentials as a comment or something. Because, you know, this site is still in development and sometimes people leave comments like to-do list or reminders like, hey Bob, you forgot to fix this. Just log into Blue Credentials and fix it before the end of the week or you'll be fired. Blah, blah, blah. Could be anything, you know. Always worth a look. Let's move on. The next thing we'll try to do is some directory busting here using Durbuster or Derp. I'm gonna use GoBuster, but you can use anything you like. So while this thing is running, I like to do some manual enumeration, like checking if there's some robots.txt web page out there somewhere. Uh, robots.txt is a file that has instructions for web crawlers like Google Bots on which web pages are forbidden and should not be included in the search results. But over here we don't have anything listed, so we will continue to enumerate. Next thing I like to look for is if there's any admin page out there. Okay, so it says page not found, but over here it says there's a directory called Mercury Facts that exists. Uh, let's go ahead and check this one out. Uh, let's see the page source, see if there's anything interesting. Uh, nope, maybe not. Let's close this one. Let's check out these links. Uh, again, view the page source to see if there's anything. Nope. Let's check the other one. Okay, so this one kind of looks interesting. It has an ID number over here, which could be stuff stored in a SQL database, I think. So we can check that if SQL injection is possible by typing in a single quote. And bingo, 
this looks like an error based SQL injection and we know from that it's running MySQL and we can scroll down and there's more information over here uh, let's try to use SQL map to exploit this and see if we can get access to the database oh my GoBuster scan is still in progress well I don't need it anymore so I'll close this one down clear it up let's copy the site where we found the SQL injection and over here type in SQL map and then paste in the site here and then dash dash batch so it will automatically select yes for any prompts and dash dbs to dump the database it might be a bit slow for you when you run it for the first time on a website i have already ran this and the data is already stored so this one's quick for me so we have two databases here uh, but the one which we are interested in is this one mercury now let's dump the tables in the mercury database so type in d for database mercury dash dash tables uh, we have two tables over here facts and users we already know what's in facts so we'll try to look into users because this one looks interesting dash t for table users and dash dash dump all right we have hit the jackpot we got a table of users and their passwords now we can try these out to log into the ssh server although we don't have to try all the users one by one because this webmaster here sounds interesting enough but let's pretend that this was a big list of users and passwords and to try this out one by one would be pretty boring so what we will do here is create two files one with usernames and the other with passwords in it and use hydra to brute force into the ssh server Now let's fire up Hydra. Type in Hydra and the IP address, which is 10.10.10.6 SSH dash capital L for username and dash capital P for password dash F to force quit as soon as it finds the first password and dash V for verbosity and hit enter. All right, there's some info and some error, but look over here, login successful webmaster, and this is the password. So yeah, that's pretty great. Now let's try to log into the SSH with the credentials we just found. 10.10.10.6, enter, and paste in the password, and we are in. Let's grab hold of the first flag over here. It's a user flag because we are not root yet. We are still a user. So that's why. All right, so let's check what files are in here. Okay, this Mercury project looks interesting. Let's check out what's in there. LS. Okay, so there's some notes. Let's see what's inside the notes. All right, so it looks like we have a password here that's encoded in base64. What we can try to do is decode it using Cyberchef. I'll leave a link in the description. Let's paste it here and click the wand to reveal the password. And here it is. Let's copy this and log in as a Linux master. Let me clear this. 
switch user linux master and paste in the password all right that works but let's check who we are okay so we are still not rude yet we need to find a way to escalate our privileges we need to check the kernel version the cron jobs sudo permissions capabilities etc now there's a script out there that automates all the stuff in one click it's called limpies and i have already downloaded here onto my system so let's transfer this quickly onto the other machine let's cd over to the temp folder all right let me check my ip address quickly okay now let's get this file ls all right so now there's one more thing left to do before we can run this because if you check the permissions it's not executable yet so let's make it executable jamat plus x linpiece.sh and now if we check the permissions we can run it so let's go ahead and fire this thing up to run this, simply type in dot far slash limpies. And there you go. Okay, so while it's doing its thing, let me show you another way that you can gain root with pretty easily. Uh, it's a pretty popular vulnerability out there. It's actually a heap based buffer overflow exploit in sudo called Baron Sam Edit. It's been around since January 2021. But the thing is, it pretty much works right out of the box. I mean, it literally takes the fun out of CDFs. It's a one click, or I guess two clicks, quick cheat code that works on most boxes that were released before January 2021 and have a sudo version before 1.9.5 PT, I guess. So now it's good to know for a pen test that this vulnerability exists. But honestly, I would say not to rely on it because it defeats the purpose of trying to look for a way to root and learn something new. Now here I will show you both ways that you can get root because it's good to know that there's a vulnerability out there that exists and you should know about it definitely. So here I have downloaded the CVE 2021-3156 folder over here. And let me transfer this onto the machine. Okay, so over here, I want to transfer this whole folder onto the machine, not just one file. So I'll show you how to do that here with wget type in dash dash recursive dash dash no dash parent and the IP address slash the name of the folder. Okay, so now if we check over here, we got a folder with our IP address on it. Let's check that folder. And ls, and yep, it's there. Let's check that folder. ls. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so in here we have a few files. All we need to do is just type in make. And now if we check in over here, we have a file called sudo hacks me a sandwich. Let's run this. Okay, so it looks like we have to select a target over here. Let's type in zero and fire it up. And we have hit the jackpot once again. So let's check who we are root let's get the flag there it is so this is how simple it was 
Now it doesn't hurt you know but don't rely on it. Let me show you the actual way that this box was meant to be rooted. Okay so it looks like our lean piece scan is also finished here. We can scroll through and take a look around. Oh it looks like it also found the sudo vulnerability that we just exploited. Awesome. Now you can go ahead and take a look around. But since I've already done this before, so I'm gonna speed this up and show you how to get root. Type in sudo dash l and enter the password for Linux master. And here's the following commands that Linux master can run with sudo privileges on Mercury. And it looks like Linux master can run syslog.sh as a root in a preserved environment because of the set env tag here. Let's read what's in it. Looks like this is a bash script that was written to execute the tail program to read the last 10 syslog entries. Okay, so we know that check syslog.sh can run in a preserved environment. So we can try to exploit the environment path variable here. We can symlink Wim editor to tail program and open the syslog.sh script. And from there, we can get a bash shell. Uh, it's easier if I show you here. Hold on. Type in ln dash s to link the Wim editor with tail here. Now add the path. Okay, now let's run this in a preserved environment. Just type in sudo dash dash preserve dash env equals to path and the check syslog.sh file. Enter the password. All right, now over here in Wim editor, just type in colon exclamation mark slash bin slash bash, just like here. and hit enter. And boom, we got the shell. Let's check who we are. We are root. Let's get the root flag. Amazing. All right, guys, so this was the alternate way to exploit the Mercury machine and gain root. Uh, I was trying to keep it as short as 10 minutes, but went on to 20 minutes but I hope you got to learn something new so to quick recap what we did was scan with nmap to find open ports and over there we saw a web server running so we went ahead to enumerate it then we found that the website is vulnerable to SQL injection so we used SQL map to dump the passwords in the database and we used Hydra to find the valid credentials to log in and once we got in, we tried to elevate our privileges using a sudo exploit as well as by checking the sudo rights. So yeah, that was it. And as always, if you have any suggestions or tips, do let me know in the comments. And I will see you next time. Till then, signing off.